Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. Today's lesson is on simplifying rational expressions. And before we're done, if you're paying attention, you're going to understand what a rational expression is, what the excluded values would be, and you'll understand how to put a rational expression into its simplest form. Well, what is a rational expression? It would probably help if we knew what the word rational meant. So let's look it up. My dictionary says rational means based on or in accordance with reason or logic. As in, I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation. Well, mathematics is pretty reasonable and pretty logical. But that's not the definition we're going to use to understand rational expressions. Here's a definition that applies just to mathematics. In mathematics, rational means expressible as a ratio of whole numbers. A rational expression is one that includes a ratio. x plus 2 is not a ratio, so x plus 2 is not a rational expression. 3 is not a ratio and is not a rational expression. But 3 over x minus 4 is a ratio and it is a rational expression. Not every ratio is a rational expression. If my denominator was x minus x, it would always equal 0. So the expression 3 over x minus x would always be undefined. And because it's always undefined, it can't be a rational expression. But even this rational expression is undefined at times. When the denominator equals 0, when x minus 4 equals 0, then y equals 3 over 0, and the value of y is not defined. When x minus 4, when my denominator equals 0, my y value is undefined. When x equals 4, I have no y value. x equals 4 is an excluded value for the rational expression 3 over x minus 4. How about this rational expression? 5 over x squared plus 2x plus 1. Does it have an excluded value? It does. When x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0, then the value of the expression is 5 over 0, which is undefined. So if we want to find out what value of x is excluded, what value of x does not result in any value for y, we need to solve the expression x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. And we can do that by factoring the uh, denominator. And then we know that x plus 1 has to equal 0, and x has to equal minus 1 x equals minus 1 is the excluded value. Now if we graph this rational expression 5 over x squared plus 2x plus 1, it looks just like this. And when x equals minus 1, is there a y value? No. x equals minus 1 is the asymptote. The curve approaches minus 1, but never reaches it. Now you try this one. 
hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Finding excluded values is kind of easy. We just set the denominator equal to zero and then solve for x or for the variable. x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. I can factor the x squared plus x minus 2 and I get x plus 2 times x minus 1 equals 0. That means that either x plus 2 has to equal 0, in which case x equals minus 2, or x minus 1 has to equal 0, in which case x equals 1. So there's two excluded values, minus 2 and 1. Well, now let's get into the really important part of this lesson, simplifying rational expressions. You're going to be asked to do this over and over again in the future. But it's not that hard. Now, it looks hard. Let's say you were asked to simplify this expression, z plus 3 over z squared minus z minus 12. Where would you start? Well, you'd start the same place as if this were a numerical expression, 6 over 24, for instance. You'd factor the numerator and the denominator, and then you'd eliminate any common factors, and then you'd just simplify it completely, and you'd end up with 1 over 4. Same is true if they're algebraic expressions. We'd, in this case, factor the denominator, and we get z plus 3 times z minus 4 as our denominator. Well, we've got a z plus 3 in our numerator, so we can eliminate those and simplify this expression to 1 over z minus 4. Well, that was kind of easy, but sometimes they're a little more complicated, like in this case. In this case, to simplify it, I need to factor both the numerator and the denominator. And when I do that, I get x minus 3 times x minus 4 over 4 minus x times 4 plus x. Well, holy cow, I don't have any common factors. I can't eliminate anything from my numerator and my denominator. What am I going to do? Well, what I'm going to do is try to recognize opposites. 4 minus x is the opposite of x minus 4. If I multiply minus 1 times x minus 4, I get 4 minus x. It's the opposite. And because minus 1 times x minus 4 equals 4 minus x, I can substitute it for 4 minus x. And when I do, my expression reads x minus 3 times x minus 4 over negative x minus 4 times 4 plus x. Now I've got a common factor in my denominator and my numerator, and I can eliminate those. And I can rewrite this expression as x minus 3 over minus 4 plus x. And I can clean that up a little bit more, too. First of all, I can put that minus sign out in front of the entire fraction. And then 4 plus x is the same thing as x plus 4. So I'll rewrite this as negative x minus 3 over x plus 4. Give this one a try. Hit your pause button, simplify the expression, and then hit your forward key to move on to my solution. We're asked to simplify this expression. So the first thing I want to do is see what I can factor. See if I can simplify the numerator and can I simplify the denominator. Well, I can't really simplify x plus 5, but I can factor the, de the denominator. I can see that in each of those terms, I've got a v. So I could pull that v out. I could undistribute it and rewrite this expression as v plus 5 over v times v squared plus 10v 
plus 25. Now I bet I could factor that v squared plus 10v plus 25. And I can. It equals v plus 5 squared. So I can rewrite the expression as v plus 5 over v times v plus 5 squared. Well, now I have a common factor in my numerator and my denominator, and I can take those out and rewrite this as 1 over v times v plus 5. And I can simplify that further as 1 over v squared plus 5v. Well, that's our lesson on simplifying rational expressions. I hope it all makes sense to you. Now it's time to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info and you'll find worksheets and quizzes there to help make sure you understand this. I hope you had a great time. I hope you learned a lot and I hope we see you again real soon.